Hello everyone, welcome to the Office Excel course. In this section, I will talk about adjusting row height and column width in Excel. The most basic way to adjust row height and column width in Excel is to position the mouse on the intersection between rows and columns and drag to adjust the row height and column width. However, using this way is difficult to achieve a consistent row height and column width. Also, it is troublesome. So, in this section, I will show you two ways to adjust consistent row height and column width. First, click the triangle in the upper left corner of the cell to select the entire form area. At this time, drag and adjust any row height or column width. The row height and column width of the entire form will be adjusted in the same way. Second, after adjusting a suitable row height and column width, view the row height data in rows and columns, row height in the home section in the menu bar. Then, select the form area to be adjusted and enter the row height in home rows and columns, row height in the menu bar to adjust. This goes the same with the column width. Previously, we learned that when the input value is too long to display in the cell, you can double-click the intersection between columns to quickly make the column width become suitable. In fact, this action is to display the most appropriate row height and column width for the cell content. It can make the cells larger or smaller. So, when column width reduced width is too narrow to fully display the content, and the content with expanded width is too large to fully be printed, what should we do? In this case, we can adjust the row height and column width, and meanwhile using wrap text. Select the cell and click Home, Wrap Text. The content in the form will automatically wrap according to the column width. At this time, adjust row height and column width again. The form will be done immediately.